two M flares back and side workout. What we're going to do today is work on putting some mobility into our sides, our obliques, as well as our back. We often find, you know, we have lots of workouts for abs and core and legs and arms, but not as many that focuses just on the back and getting that flexibility and stretching. So what we're going to do today is do a really nice flow that is fluid and quite um, relaxing, nothing too intense, just to really get the movement into the spine, to work on some strength in the obliques and the side of our body, and leave you feeling really great, and hopefully help you, you know, when everyone's hunched this way, we're going to do lots of back bends. Okay, let's come into child pose. Come forward. Use your hands. Take lots of deep breaths here. And we're going to just bring our hands to the right and drop our, sorry, bring our hands to the left and drop our hips to the right. To really get the length into that right side of the body. Come on back through and let's Take our hands to the right and drop our hips to the left. Come back to the center, up to all fours. And we're going to do some cat cows, but we're going to do them with movement. So um, round the back. Tilt our tailbone all the way up and do them as big or as small as feels comfortable at the beginning of this practice. Like a nice wave or light motion. Engage the core as you round your spine. Do some circles with the hips. Really waking up that body. You may hear lots of crunches and pops and cracks. I know I do. <laughs> Changing size, just said make the motion as big or as small as feels comfortable for your body. Come on back to all fours. We're going to tuck our toes, push back into downward facing dog. And same here, you can walk your legs out on the spot. Really length to that spine and pushing the tailbone up towards the sky and dropping the chest towards the floor, pushing through your hands. And then we're going to come on forward and we won't untuck our toes, we just want to get that arch in our back in an upward facing dog, but with our, on our toes still. Look up towards the sky, push back to down facing dog. We're going to do this a few times. Really round forward as we drop down into upward facing dog. Push through your hands. Let's do this one more time. And then push back to down facing dog. Come here. Step forward with your right foot. Just turn your left slightly out and we're going to come up into a warrior one. And if you feel ready in with a nice slight back bend, reach back. Then come on up. And if you feel comfortable, we're going to tilt to the side. If you 
don't, you can just stay in a warrior one stance and the other. And slightly go back again. Come on down. Place your hands, pivot your back toe. Come back into plank. Let's go through our first chaturanga. Push up. Push back. Downward facing dog. And let's step through with our left foot. Coming into warrior one. Reach it up and other back bend if it feels good. You may not go very far, we're just at the beginning of the practice. Whatever feels good for you. Towards the side. Really engage your core when you're doing this. Right back bend. Come forward, back into plank, through our chaturanga. Push back, downward facing dog. Here we're going to come into plank and we're just going to do some side crunches for those obliques. So same knee to the same elbow. Really engage the core, try and keep a nice flat back and squeeze those obliques at the side as your knee touches your elbow. Let's do four more. Last two. And hold it here. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to put our knee right below us and we're going to place our hand on the floor, reach our left hand behind us and we're going to do some side crunches like this. So, point your toe, reach towards the floor and then come on up and try and touch your thigh. And hold it here. If you can, I want you to hold on your foot and do a slight back bend as you push your foot into your hand. Then come on up into the kneeling position. We're going to change sides. Okay. Reach up right arm behind you. Point your right toe, and we're going to come up. Even touching your knee or your calf, depends how long your arms are and your flexibility. Pushing those feet into the hand. Then come on down. Okay, we're going to go side plank dips. So, come onto the right hand. You can either put your one foot just in front and dip down this way. It feels the most comfortable. Or you can stack your feet, having your hand like that, and coming down this way. Choose whichever variation is most comfortable for you, or you can also just put your foot, your knee here, and stay in this position until we're finished, if we, you're not ready to do the side dips. Choose whichever variation is best for your body. Okay, and let's come on down. Try not to sink the shoulders and really push through the hand to get the benefit in these obliques. Do three more. Last one. Come round through our chaturanga. Push up. 
then drop the knees, turn around, come onto your left hand, and choose whichever variation is best for your body, either scissor the legs, or stack the legs, or stay in the assisted side foot, side plank. Okay, when you're ready, off we go. And you might find that you're stronger on one side than the other. You might also find that you wobble and fall out. So just come back in. This is your practice. Halfway. Through our chaturanga, upward facing dog here, we're going to come back down and we're going to do some little back bends. So this is your baby cobra, we're going to hold it here, we're going to try and pull our shoulders down. Keeping our hands just in front of us. And if you're comfortable, you can come further up into Cobra. And you can come all the way up into outward facing dog. And push back into downward facing dog. Hold it here. Come forward through your chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Push back. Downward facing dog. Then step your left foot forward. And we're going to come into a warrior two. Hold it here. Make sure that knee doesn't go over the toe. Hold it. And then we're going to come into a peaceful warrior. Now you can choose to bind your hand and grab hold of your thigh and then come back. Or you can stay with your hand down the back of your leg, whichever feels most comfortable. And then sink into that knee. And come on up into wide leg forward fold. Come forward. Place your forehead on the floor and just get a nice little stretch in the back of your hamstrings. One hand, the left hand in the center, and you're going to do a nice spinal twist up towards the sky with your right hand. And then swap over. Come back. Place your forehead on the floor for one last little stretch. Then pivot to the front of your mat and place that foot, and we're gonna come into warrior two on the opposite side. Hold it here, keep your shoulders down, really lean into the pose. And then we're gonna come back into that piece of warrior, either here, or you can grab your thigh. child pose. Come on up, and we're going to just come through, sit ourselves in the center of the mat, and do some 
Russian twists, you can either keep your feet off the floor or you can keep them on the floor and you're going to touch the floor with your hands and your gaze must follow them so you can really, really squeeze the core. Ten more. Last three. And hold it here. Extend your legs if you can. And then roll down. What we're going to do here is if you're comfortable, we're going to come back into a plow. You can either keep your hands here or interlace them. And try and keep your palms together. And if you're more advanced and you feel comfortable, you can also drop your knees towards your ears. I hope you've enjoyed this. Please don't just turn off now. Just give your body these last few moments to just settle and to get your breath back and then just to feel the benefits of a few minutes of relaxation before we end the practice. So if you feel comfortable, just close your eyes. Allow the body just to relax and sink into the floor listening to your breath, going in and out. Not paying too much attention to all the noise in your head. Let your fingers and toes just relax and fall to where it feels comfortable. Fill your stomach up full of nice fresh oxygen, fill those lungs up and slow the heart rate down so that you're ready to continue with the rest of your day, feeling relaxed, rejuvenated and powerful. Thank you so much everyone for practicing with me today. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope your back and your sides feel nice and mobile and you have a lot more flexibility and movement in your body. If you did enjoy this, please like and subscribe and so that I can do more videos just like it. Thank you so much.